Hey guys, Brennan here, doing uh, an update of the 150, kind of everything that's going on, saltwater wise. Uh, if you see right here, you get a better look at my stand that I'm building. I have to do another coat of paint and paint uh, the inside walls and do another coat of white all together and another coat of black on the outside. But the stand, for the most part, is almost done. I think either tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to uh, put these little what are they called? They're called baseboards. Molding. That's what they're called. Moldings along the sides and the tops and the bottom and everything like that. Um, today, I actually went out to Lowe's. Actually, uh, about a week ago, I went online and I ordered a new bulkhead. This one is a Lifeguard Aquatics bulkhead. Not, I mean, you can't see that, but, you know, it's a lot nicer than the one that was, you know, on here before. This one's kind of old. I didn't really trust it. So I went out and I got the parts for it. This is the uh, adapter that the PVC standpipe, this part goes in. It's the same part as this. So that screws into the top like that. And then at the other end of the bulkhead, I have a one and a quarter inch reducer. Let me know in the comments if you don't think this is, um... If you don't think, or if you think this is too small, because I was looking at one and a quarter and one and a half, so if you think one and a quarter is too small for 150 gallon, let me know. I can go swap them out before I glue them, so that'd be helpful if you guys can let me know. The thing, the reason I went with the one and a quarter is I have a bunch of one and a quarter PVC, so I figured, you know, it just, I mean, it'd be cheaper, and I figured he'd be able to handle it anyways. Um, in other news, in the 150, if you can see right there, I did go ahead and silicone seal it into place, and I put the overflow box back together. I know it's scratched up, but it doesn't really bother me. And I got all my silicone in place. I, I messed up in a couple places, but you know, it's silicone, so. Um, I did that on Saturday, so next Saturday I'll do a water test, and I'll, I'll post a video of that. I'll put it up here on the stand and do a water test, so. Um, other than that, let's see, uh, I got a light fixture, a buddy of mine, uh, Lewis, he hooked it up, he had this fixture laying around, it is a CoreLife 48 inch, uh, 2 bulb T5, and it's not on right now because I have everything plugged in over there, but it's just the standard one, no, no moonlights or anything like that, so it should help out, I mean, all I had was this standard, uh, freshwater aquarium T8 bulb, so... That should help give it a little bit of color and everything. Um, and then over here, we got kind of like a giant pool of everything going on. This is the bio cube. And what I went out and did today was I got about four gallons of this distilled white vinegar. This is from Target. And um, I went ahead and poured it into the bio cube and put some, filled it up with water. And right now, man, I got a lot of stuff in there to be honest. Um, first of all, I mean, I did this so I can get all the core line off the back, and as you can see, oops, almost dropped my phone in there, there's no more core line over there, so I, it already, you know, scrapes off pretty easy, so I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours, but other than that, I have my ASM G2 skimmer in there, and the collection cup, I have my water changing pump, I have all three of my power heads, and I have the, uh, all the bio balls and all the filter stuff in there besides the filter pad. I even got my little scrubber brush in here trying to get that cleaned off. And uh, so yeah, even the little, what is those things called? Bio, for the bio cube, the little mini skimmer thing. That's in there. This thing, the, you guys know what that is. So it's all in there. I'll probably let it go until tomorrow afternoon. Then uh, take everything out, scrub it up, clean it, spray it off. And then it should be ready to go. Um, let's see, other than that, not a whole lot left to do to get this 150 up and running, which is really exciting. I'm really pumped to uh, get it up and running for you guys. And as you can see, I already got the line outlined to make the cabinets and everything. So um, I'll make an update video uh, You know, when I have more stuff to, to document. But sealing the tank was pretty easy didn't take too long and I got it done pretty you know pretty easily I didn't really have any problems it was actually a lot easier than sealing a smaller tank you have a lot more room inside there but um yeah alright guys thanks for watching be sure to like comment subscribe let me know if you think that is a uh, too small of a reducement for the 150 
I, I personally, I don't think it is, but um, I've had other people tell me otherwise, so, you know, if it is, let me know, and I'll, I'll go to, like, one and a half inch, but, I mean, any more than that, I might as well just stick with the two inch PVC, so, I don't know. Uh, Alright, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'm going to get working on this stand. Hopefully I can get this finished. Well, at least the front panels, the squares cut out tonight, and then have it mounted on here. So that'll be pretty cool, and then having all the skimmers and everything clean will be pretty cool. So, um, Real quick, um, I know I already said my goodbyes, uh, the BioCube. I am planning on keeping it, obviously, that's why I'm cleaning it. Um, I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to run a really, really lightly stocked tank. Um, I'm probably going to modify the whole back chamber and do my own little twist on filtration. And then, you know, in the, uh, in the tank, I'll probably just... I really like the African flame back. It's a dwarf angel. Uh, a buddy of mine has that, and... I think it'd be a really cool nano fish. Just to have like one fish in there, maybe with a shrimp and a cleanup crew would be pretty cool. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know about that reducer and uh, go check out all my other videos. I got a bunch of videos leading up to this moment on the 150, and you know, it'd be pretty cool for you guys to check them out. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. Hope to get this thing done soon. All right, later.